Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that is not in the book. It is similar to the problem number 13, which is why it's tagged here as 13 bonus. I'm going to, I'm just going to call it 13. Obviously, we can't call it 14 because that's going to confuse the hell out of people. And today is our lesson number 198. It is not in the book. Not in the book. Since it's not in the book, I'm going to read to you, and here's the deal. I'm going to read the problem to you. After I have read the problem, I would like you to pause the video. I would like to actually stop the video, solve the problem yourself. Do not continue watching the video until you have solved it. And once you have the answer, then you compare your work that you did on your own with the work that we're going to do together. Okay, here's the problem. It says, a firm has 1,300 employees. A firm has 1,300, empl 1300 employees of which 700 are male and 600 are females. Among these 1,300 employees, among these 1,300 employees, there are 12 pairs of twins, each consisting of more, each consisting of one male and one female, a brother and sister. There are 12 such pairs of brother and twin brothers and sisters working in this firm, which employs 1,300 employees, 700 males, 600 females. The question is very simple. Uh, one male. If one male and one female is to be selected at random to perform a certain task, whatever job that is required here, they're going to pick one male and one female at random, what are the odds that the pair of twins will be chosen? What are the odds that the, the, the pair of twins will be chosen? I'm going to stop talking for yourself 10 seconds so you have a chance to pause and unpause the video. Stop the video and solve it yourself. Here we go. It's very straightforward, very simple. We know that there are 12 pairs. We know that there are 12 pairs. So if we were to take, if we were to pick one female, uh, sorry, uh, one female or one male, doesn't really matter. If we were to pick one male, what are the odds that we're going to pick a guy whose sister, twin sister, also works in the firm? Well, those odds are, there are 12 of those. There are 12 such guys. There are 12 such guys in the firm, working for the firm whose sisters work in the firm also, who happens to be a twin sister. There are 12, of the, 12 such guys. Out of how many? Out of 700. Now here's the prickly part. Once one such guy is picked, once one of those guys is picked, one of those dozen guys is picked, what are the odds that we're going to pick his twin sister? Well, there's only one person that qualifies as that guy's twin sister. So it is one out of 600. That's it. That's your answer. Now we started with males, had we started with females, nothing would have changed this numerator. Instead of 12 times 1, it would have been 1 times 12. That's all. If we, if we pick female first, again the story starts out the same way. There are a dozen females, there are a dozen females whose twin brothers also work in the firm. So what are the odds that we're going to end up picking one of those dozen females at random? Well, I just told you, there are a dozen of them. So it's 12 out of 600 females. There are 600 females. Once we have chosen one such lady, how many guys would qualify as her twin brother? Only one, obviously. One out of how many? One out of 700. That's it. That's our answer. It doesn't change anything. Let's simplify it. Let's simplify it. Uh, 12 and 60. 60 has 5 12, and this 0 actually is going to come down, and that's just 1. So that's all. That's all. That's your answer. 7 times 5 is 35. So on the top we get 1 times 1 is 1. 7 times 5 is 35, and then we get 1 0, 2 0, and 3 0. The odds are 1 out of 35,000. The odds are very, very slim. The odds are 1 out of 35,000 that you will end up picking such a pair where the guy and the girl, male and the female, happen to be twin siblings. That's all.
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.